Hey, it's Louis here, Luco Sully. Uh, I'm doing here the second tutorial of for Terraria. This will be uh, mining stuff like that. Um, obviously, I'm going to do my tutorial character again in tutorial world. Um, uh, this time I won't run over my time, so um, hopefully we'll have none of that. Uh, as you can see, what's kind of annoying is when I spawn, I spawn here, so I spawn in the floor, which is kind of, yeah, it's kind of annoying. So, um, uh, basically, I will also be doing NPCs on this uh, tutorial. So, um, first we'll start with making a new, le a new um, floor to our house. Whoops. I think that might be too high. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, sorry, you just have to check that um it works. Or else NPCs can't move in. So it needs to be at least five high, and make it. I'd say more than. Oh, I'm. I've run out of. Um, make it at least. Oh crap! I'm being owned by the stupid gel. Um, yeah. As I was saying, make it at least ten across. That'd be the best thing to do. Um, I'm gonna go get some more trees before it gets dark. We'll need quite a lot because we're gonna do the walls as well. So, um, yeah, um, you, usually, uh, if your health is low, you can find a lot of healing potions in chests or pots. To smash open a pot, if you find one, uh, you just click it with, like, a sword or a, just some sort of weapon. That should be enough, um, squares, uh, wood even. So, um, we'll just carry on making this. Um, you can get quite a lot of NPCs, including Santa, because this is the, um, 1.11 update. I went over a bit there. So, yeah, uh, we need to make some more stuff, so I'll make quite a lot of wood walls. I'll make more than 60. Here come the zombies and the demon eyes. Um, oh, I think I got too much wood there. Oh, well, uh, yeah. When these zombies and demon eyes come, they won't be able to get in your house because they're zombies and demon eyes. And also, if there's a blood moon, which you might get, it's like where loads of zombies come, and they can um, they can open doors on blood moons. So to make your your house like zombie proof on blood moons, you just make the platform like one higher so they can't like go up to the door and open it. Which is kind of useful. As you can see, the zombies are coming. Um, another thing about night time is that um, fallen stars fall in night time and they disappear in the dawn. And what fallen stars do is, if you collect ten fallen stars, oh look, there's one right now. So if you connect ten fallen stars, you just collect them by walking up to them. If you collect ten of them, then uh, you make you can on the crafting menu you can make a mana crystal, and if you eat this mana crystal, then um, you get one little mana star up there, which means you can use magic. And to use magic, you just like get stuff like magic mirrors, which teleport you back to your spawn point, or like just random stuff like that. So um, yeah, we need a table and chair here. Oh, I've already got one. Well. What a fail. Um, you need a door also for it to be counted as a proper room. So um, I'm just going to put the table and chair there. We need some more torches. So I'll get some more. So we can make the light sources for the rooms. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, if you don't have any magic, to have torches on your quick menu so when you go mining you can place down torches 
Um, I'll just rearrange this because I don't like it. Put that there. Don't need that box. There we go. Uh, so yeah, that's. We just need to add in or make a wooden door. I don't have enough for two, so I'll just put one this side. And um, yeah, if you if your NPCs can't get in the house, it's because it's upstairs. So if you go away from the house and come back, I don't know, uh, more than a minute later, maybe two minutes later, then um, then they will just appear up there. So there's no need for that. So I'm just gonna check it on my housing housing query. Oh look at that, another fallen star. But I can't really get up there because it's on the roof. Unless I make some wooden platforms. And I get rid of the top. The only thing with making wooden platforms like without another room. Um Uh the only thing with making platforms with another room is that um things can fall in. Uh, that's all we have time for for this one, so this is for NPCs to move in. I'll just quickly recap, you need about 50 silver for um, for an, a merchant to move in. You need uh, to improve your maximum health for a nurse to move in. For a gun dealer you need a gun, for a demolition expert you need some sort of bomb. Um, Santa you need to defeat the army of, s of snowmen. Just stuff like that. You can also ask your guide stuff about that. So, um, on my next tutorial, I'll be doing mining. Or, actually, I'll probably make part two of this tutorial, which will be called mining. So, um, I'll see you then. Hello, guys. It's, um, Lucas Sully here again for part two of my tutorial, part which is part two of episode two, whatever. Uh, which is mining. Now, uh, I'll pro this will probably be in the next episode as well, which will be about resources. As you can see, I've um, there's a door here. This housing is suitable, so as soon as I get the stuff I mentioned in the last part, then um, I should be able for an NPC to move in. So, I want a merchant to move in. I've only got 13 copper coins. Now, 100 copper coins makes a silver coin, but you can find silver coins in chests. Um, also, I collect another fallen star when you were not here, and I died getting it because all the zombies got in. So, I'm going to make my mine here because I keep respawning here and it gets on my nerves. So, actually no I won't, I'll make it here. You want to make your mine indoors because if you don't, then um, what happens is uh, when you go out at night, when it turns night time, you you do mining so you don't have to go outside so yeah all I'd say is make it sure um, you put platform every six blocks you go down so I'm just able to get up here so I'll make just you only need to make one platform and put it um, about there actually uh, I've got it wrong sorry but go down one more and put it down where I said because it went one higher so now if I put it there ah oh, crap that wasn't meant to happen I'm really failing here guys so um just ignore my fail at trying to make a platform here it's because I'm standing here really so I keep failing okay I'm gonna mine down a little further and then I'll put it down because you want to lo use the least amount of platforms as possible. Right, I'll put another platform here now, so now I can jump on that platform and jump up, like that. So that's all good. Um, there, I'll put another platform there where the stone ends. Also, it's useful to um, remind yourself where to put the platforms, like I've reminded myself where the stone ends so I can jump up, like that. Also, you might want to put some torches down here because it gets quite kind of hard to see. But I'm near the surface, so there's no point. Um, you want to just keep mining down because that way, um, yeah, that that way you don't like just like go off course or whatever. 
and usually you will find some water which will break your fall which is kind of useful there so I've started my mine I want to put some wood there because that doesn't look very good and um, also to make your house floor look better get rid of the grass and it should kind of merge in with the wood like that it just makes it look nicer than like the house hovering and also I can see the edges of the wood there which is kind of getting my nerves and also the stone doesn't really interact which I don't get so I'll replace that with mud I know it sounds weird but I just I get paranoid over these things so um oh what is that gel doing oh my god what an idiot of a gel. How did he even get in there? Come on, gel. How did he get in my house? That doesn't make sense. Oh, well, I found a glitch. Lol. Well, right, there we go. So we'll just fill that up with dirt. And now it looks a bit better. If, well... If you think it looks better. So I'm going to go down this mine. Also, I've just seen those pots. So... I might go down there uh, and get them. The only thing is, I can't get up that way, so I'll I will make a little tunnel here so I can get out easily. The only problem with this is zombies can get in, so I'm gonna make another door in a second, just there, so they can't get in. Oh, I found a chest. You find these usually chests and ores and stuff. I think I mine this. This is copper. You can tell because it's sort of orangey. Um, you find chests and stuff in caves. So um, you right click to open a chest. It's got quite a few torches, some iron bars which are very useful, a menacing aglet. Now this is equipable. It gives me five uh, more movement speed and four damage. So you just click that and drag it into accessories, and then I've got more damage and stuff. Also, I, I think that's iron down there. Yes, I'm right. Again, I'm joking. But yeah, so I might go see what else is in this cave. Just put some torches down so I can see. Some shrukens. I think that you can throw them like ninja stars. I think they are ninja stars. Yeah, it's just got a different name. Actually, no, what am I saying? Shrukens, that's the proper name for ninja stars. I just like saying ninja stars because that's what I used to say when I was small. So I'm using dirt blocks to get back up like that. Like so. Yeah. I think I'll kill these green slime. So yeah, just start your mine off like that. Just keep mining down as well, and get and make sure you have enough wood to make the platforms six apart, so you can get back up your mine. And um, yeah, so I'll carry on mining, and the third part will be what your mine should look like. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in part three. Hello guys, it's uh, it's Lucas Sully here. As you can see, I've made a furnace, and if you go crafting, you can make more stuff. Like, I have some clay blocks, so I can make some clay pots, or pink vases, vases, however you say it. Uh, different stuff like that. I've made some more iron bars, because I found them down my mine. You can make this furnace with about 20 stone, some wood, and some... And some torches, uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough wood to make one. So, as you can see, with five iron bars, you can make an anvil. Used to craft items from metal bars, so I've got iron bars, stuff like that. So, I think I'll have this, and I'll put it on the second story. You don't want anything to get in the way of your door. Like, I put it here, and, um, basically, when I tried to open the door from this side, it wouldn't open because I was standing too close to the door and it can't open the other way when there's an object there. So, I've also added a platform here. Uh, Brandon, I've got over here by, like, uh, making steps, so hopefully we'll get in soon. As you can see, he's assigned to 
this the downstairs house bit um yeah uh, my mine it goes quite not not particularly far down there's the door that i made um i kept going down i found some ore here um i failed with the platforms a bit over here uh i think i've just seen some more ore if you see anything like ore just go sideways uh and i think i just got rid of my torch yes i did Yes, there is. There's some copper ore. Now, you can use copper ore to make very, very basic armor. Like, obviously, copper armor. But, um, I think I found something else. If you look in the corner of the screen, there is, a uh, purple glow. I've also found... See, like, you can find quite a lot. Like, I found some iron. Which is quite useful. I'll keep going down there. I'm just making... You want to make some, like, different ways to your thing and you never want to miss out. I think I've found a cavern here so if I just keep mining sideways and then mine down then soon enough I should like find a, a cavern I think and caverns usually contain chests and pots because you can't find chests and pots in the ground you have to um, find them in air obviously or in the water which you can find underground as well. I think I've gone across enough, so I'll start going down. I probably haven't, though. I can't see a lot, so I'll place another torch. Yeah, I don't think I've gone sideways enough, but it doesn't matter, because I can just go um, sideways again. And, look, I've, I've found some more iron. Iron is useful, because you can make a lot of stuff from it, like anvils, and uh, better armour, better weapons, like, and you can make iron pickaxes, stuff like that. Which is good to know. Um, right, I'll start going sideways again here. And um, I can now see this purple glow is coming from that thing over there, which is a demon altar. And demon altars, um, they are uh, basically what they are are, are um, they're these altars. And you can't destroy them unless you have a pwn hammer, which is quite a powerful weapon. If I hit it with my normal hammer, I lose quite a lot of health. So, um, you can't destroy it with any other thing except a pwn hammer. My sword doesn't do anything. If you get lenses, which are dropped from demon eyes, or whatever they're called, demon eyeballs, then, um, if you have ten of them, then you can summon the eye of... I still don't know how to pronounce it, something like Chachu, which is a boss. So demon altars can summon bosses, and, um, yeah. Obviously, if you look up there, my life is slowly regenerating when I stand still. There's some water here again, and, um, so, yeah. I will probably go down here and try to kill them. I'll probably fail, though, because, um, obviously when you go in water with the torch, it just goes out because flames can't be underwater, obviously, as most people know. See, I'm failing because they can't really sink, so when I rise to the surface, then, um, I just get owned. So I've got some lesser healing potion with me, which you can find in pots, maybe chests sometimes, if they're not very good chests. Oh, I found a goldfish. That can restore health. I'll just pre If you press H, then it automatically finds something that can heal you. And it heals you, obviously. I've almost killed this last rest line now. I'm being a real noob because I'm it's kind of awkward fighting here. Ow, I'm almost dead. That's not very good. Obviously it takes less health when you have armor, so I don't think I can take another hit, so this is very bad. Come on, red slime! You can't kill me. Oh, it killed me. Um that was kind of bad. I got owned by red slime. But that's because I've got crap sword. So obviously now I've got some iron. I can come back up here. Oh god damn it. That's so annoying. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. As you can see my guide has made it indoors. Alive. Which is good. Um, Yeah. So I'll just put some more wood down there. Because it's really getting on my nerves. Uh, I'll go up to the anvil and see what I can make. First, I need to make some iron bars at the smelter. At the, um, yeah, the furnace. I've got ten iron bars now. 
and I'll make some copper. I don't have a lot of copper, so I've only got two copper bars. I can make iron chains, iron bows, iron short sword, broad swords, which are better, I think, ten, eight. Yeah, they're better. Buckets, which you can use to, um, they're equipable, which you can wear on your head, but it doesn't look that good. Trust me. And, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, do you, I think I'll probably make an iron broadsword, because I don't really need a bucket. You can scoop stuff up with a bucket, but I need a, a better sword, so I'll get a broadsword for now. Um, yeah, uh, with this dude, if you right-click him, help, it just shows a load of random stuff, and you keep pressing health, and it just says, so you can help with that. Crafting is useful. You like drags stone blocks in there and it tells you what you can make with it, like wooden arrows. I don't even know how you can make wooden arrows out of stone blocks. A load of bricks, a, s a furnace, here you go. 20 stone blocks, 4 wood and 3 torches, if you want to know. Armour statue, active stone block, which you really don't need to know about, it's just for um, wiring, which is we you find in the dungeon, I'll come to that later. And boulders, is. So you can just find out what different stuff makes, like copper broadsword, I'm guessing, yeah, it doesn't make anything. Um, so yeah, so when you mine down, just find some caverns and go in them, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's really all I've got to show you for this one. I've got two silver coins, which is kind of useless, really. Um, shurikens, you just, like, I'll show you ranged weapons, you just throw them like that. And if, and if you miss some, then you can pick them up again, which is kind of useful. One of my favourite ranged weapons is the, the um, boomerang, because you throw it and it comes back. But uh, that's all I've got for tutorial 2, which is mining and NPCs. Um, make more spare rooms and you can get more NPCs. Obviously, I don't have any, because there is no. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in three parts. So I just didn't miss out that weird fail thing from last time. Um, go mining, yeah. Uh, uh, I think next tutorial my friend might be joining me for player versus player, stuff like that. Um, so, like and subscribe if you want more. Uh, good day. Good day, god damn it.